The lead attorney representing Antigua's Director of Public Prosecutions, DPP, Jamaican Anthony Armstrong, is accusing the local DPP office of undermining the Committal Proceedings Act and of perpetuating the abuse of process against his client. Attorney Hugh Wildman hurled accusations at the DPP as he sought to move the matter to the Supreme Court this morning. More in this report. Mr. Wildman argued that his team was only notified about the action last night and that his client will be inconvenienced and embarrassed by being rearrested. He said Mr. Armstrong's surety was unavailable. Mr. Wildman described the DPP's decision as discourteous, oppressive, and arbitrary. He also accused the DPP of depriving his client of his right to have the parish court judge determine whether there is a prima facie case against him. Mr. Wildman stressed that the matter had been set for him to make submissions for the judge to make a ruling on the case. But his accusation did not stop there. Mr. Wildman said he is accustomed to the DPP's office being an institution overtaken by sensationalism and headlines. He made it clear that while he's not asking for special treatment, his client, who was a prosecutor in the DPP's office, should not be treated in that manner. Mr. Wildman lamented that the principle is wrong and that if it was left up to him, he would file a judicial review to quash the case. Replying to the accusations, the prosecutor rubbished Mr. Wildman's claims, revealing that a request was made last Friday by the clerk of court. The prosecutor said immediately after receiving the complete file yesterday evening, Mr. Wildman and King's counsel Peter Champagny were contacted, insisting that there was no calculated attempt to embarrass or inconvenience the accused persons. The prosecutor said the decision to transfer the case was unavoidable given the circumstances. In the meantime, when the case was called up in the high court, the media was not allowed inside to cover the hearing. The registrar told reporters that the sitting judge, Justice Leighton Pusey, doesn't usually allow media in first hearings as he's not certain what will be said. However, reporters were told that bail was reinstated for Anthony Armstrong and his co-accused Shelley and Peart Campbell. They are to return to court on March 22. Raquel Porter, TVJ News.